Hi you Paul, hope you're okay. So this is a little video uh, to help you out. I hope it, well I hope it helps you out anyway, right? There's your uh, I've just drawn a, a sort of basic column. Yeah, and um, that's it really. There's the profile of the of the bevel that you want to cut out, right? I've done some funny angles there, it's not really important, okay? Just to give you an example. Across there, that is forty five degrees from that line there, that's the important one. Okay, let's just get rid of this um, this uh, dotted um, lot, this guide. Okay, so if we select that first, yeah, and then we get the follow me tool, click on that, and put onto that profile there. You then get this strange box, as you can see, that's now suddenly appeared. Right now, if actually, if I pop that on X ray, you'll see what's happened. Can you see what's happened there? Let's put that inside there. Okay. Just take that back off again. Right. Now then, once we've done that, what we need to do then is we just, we just need to uh, select all of that. Okay. And then we're going to intersect that with model. So if I right click and then intersect the face with the model, that's now done. What I then do then is get my eraser and I'll just erase that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one, and that one and there straight away we've got now the bevel that you you're asking for okay now what you can do um, if you wanted to do it on all four corners don't forget as well on here on that profile when I first started uh, you could have put curves and everything so it could have added quite nice you know whatever you want to do with it okay so I'm just gonna just delete I'm oh, sorry my mistake I'm just gonna delete that edge uh, right and I'm just going to go select that face. This is this is just for me now. I'm just going to put a center on that so I know where it is. Okay, center point. It's not having it. That's a good start. Right. So I don't know what's going on there, but we'll just pop that across there instead. Right. Okay. Now what you can do is if you just select that face and edge, that face and edge, that face and edges, yeah. Then get the rotate tool, pop it on the center. Uh, of the your top of your square, left click to lock it, left click again to the end point, then you uh, press control, you see the plus there, and then we drag a copy out like so. Ignore the top, I'm just sort of by accident. Okay, and then I'm going to left click then on that end point, and then I'm going to put, I'm going to press on the keyboard three times enter, and that will then bring that all the way around. And then all you need to do then is just select, just delete that edge there, that edge there, and the last but not least, that edge there. And I hope that, you know, sorts it out and shows you what we're talking about. Okay, I hope that's okay, mate. And I hope that sorts it out for you. Thanks a lot, then. Bye.